Hello, thanks very much for joining me again. This week's river pattern is a dry fly and it's uh, my approximation of Davy Parker's Retirer Sedge. Now, in the vise, we have a Hanak H130 barbless hook and it's at size 12. And the thread I'm going to be using today is the Vivas GSP. Sorry, you can't quite see it there. I'll just take that down for a sec. And it's just a clear white thread. Very strong, but as ever with this thread, I'm going to add a little bit of super glue to the shank of the hook just to make sure I don't get rotation in my fly later on. So I'm going to catch that thread along the super glue there and then just put down a bed of thread. I'll bring that up to the point of the hook at this on this fly and then I'm going to just remove my rat's tail then carry on another couple of turns okay so I've now got my thread just just before where the barb would be on the hook now this fly does have a tail um, if you look up retirer sedge you'll see all varieties but on the original fly um, it had a tail so what I'm going to use is some ultra dry yarn and it's in white this is from fish on and i've already taken uh, a section out of the packet now as you see here compared to the hook this is quite thick so what i'm going to do with this is i'm going to take my dubbing needle and just split it up the middle it splits easily and then i'm going to pull away now one half is slightly thicker than the other i want the smaller part don't throw away the thicker part because we're going to use that in the wing. So I'm just going to put that to the side. And I'm going to take the small or the smaller piece. So as you can see, it's quite long and I need it to be long. So I'm going to push it right back. I'm going to catch it in with a couple of pinching loops. Once I'm happy where it's sitting, I can tie in like so so i've got it like that and what i want to do next is come in with my scissors and the bit pointing towards the eye i'll just try and move my fingers out the way i want to cut in a slanted position and then what i can do now is just tidy all this up at the front like so there's just a little fiber there i'm going to remove excuse my fingers again now the tail, I'm going to use my snips here, but I'm not going to cut straight. That's not what I want to do with this fly. So I'm going to open up my scissors and towards where the start of the bend of the hook is, I'm going to just start rubbing my scissors edge on it. And what this will do is give me quite a raggedy ended tail. Bear with me, it does take a little bit of time to do it right. And eventually that will separate. So what I've got now is not, it's not a straight cut, it's nice and raggedy and that's exactly what I was after with this fly. Perfect. Now for the dubbing, uh, I'm not sure what uh, Davy used originally. Davy Park is a fantastic angler and uh, I wished I had half his ability and he came up with this fly and apparently it it just brings fish up from anywhere and uh, a lot of my friends swear by it so as I don't know what he used originally I'm going to use some of this it's the trout line fly time hair dubbing and it's in the March brown shade it's quite a fine dubbing which I like for this fly and I'm just going to take a small pinch from the packet and dub it onto my thread. Just push that up and then I can bring 
and dubbing up nice and close turns. Give yourself plenty of room at the front. Because I've just removed that excess dub in there. Don't need it. And I'm going to bring my thread so it's off the dubbing and it's back onto the shank of the hook. Now before I do anything else, I'm going to come in with my beeswax and just add plenty of wax to my thread. Because I'm going to I want to be gripping in a few materials here. So I've got that all waxed up. I like the look of that, it's coming along grand. Uh, next, I'm going to take the discarded piece that I, I when I split my ultra dry yarn, I'm going to take that and I want to just tidy up this rough edge here. So, just off camera, I'm going to snip away that to tidy it up and I'm going to bring that in now. I don't want it right up to the eye here. Don't bring it up to the eye because you're, you're going to need the space. So I've left a, a good eighth of an inch, probably two eighths of an inch here. And I want to be about half that distance. So I'll pop it down there like so. And initially, just get a couple of loops in. And then you can tighten down on that. Okay. With the wing... You don't really need to worry about the straight cut, but it shouldn't protrude past the tail. So I'm going to come in, use my tail as a guide, not quite to the end of my tail, and snip that away. Okay, so we've got um, our underwing in place, and next I want to put my overwing. I'm going to use some elk hair here, and I'm just going to take a small section from the back of the elk hair, and I'll show you how much I take in a second, once I've just sorted it out. Now you can stack this if you want. Uh, I'm not going to bother today because the amount I'm using is very small and the tips actually do already line up quite well. If there's any that stick out too much, you can always remove them. Now measure up what you need. Now I, I always do this. so. I've got it in my thumb and forefinger, bring it up to the hook, and I've, I'm touching the eye of the hook with my thumb and forefinger, and the tips are just towards the back of the fly. So I'm going to transfer it over to my left hand, and then I'm going to snip on this occasion, just off camera, to get rid of my waist. So this should be roughly the correct length now. Now, you've got to make sure you've got plenty of wax on your thread. So once you've got that in place, bring it in again, not too near the eye. If you get one pinching loop in, and you just see it splays at the front here, so I'm going to come through that splay, and then back to where I started, and then that should be, I should be able to let go now. Yeah, perfect. So what I want to do though, is tidy this up at the front. So I'm going to come in and now flatten out the elk here. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So the next thing would be a little bit more of a dubbing. And I'm pretty sure it was probably just dubbed on. But what I like to do with sedges... Uh, and all my sedges I do this pretty much is take a piece of the dubbing just gently tease it out until you've got that come in with your trusty fly clip if you haven't got one of these um, a bulldog clip will do but I do recommend either getting one of these or something akin to this it's such a handy tool I'm, I'll always use it for a, for a load of my time so I've caught it in the clip like so, and then as you've seen me do several times now if you follow the channel, I'm going to come in, needle behind the thread, and split my thread. I'm going to try that again. Come in, needle behind the thread. 
can split my thread. Then I can catch in my little piece of dubbing. It's only about an inch long. And it's going to get smaller when I spin up. Once you've done that, just any, just pull it out so you've got your your dubbing. Hold everything to the rear, and then you can come in with your dub to make your head. Now at the end here, if you have a mind to, you can put some coloured marker on your white thread if you want a coloured head. I'm not going to do that. I want it just clear. Then I'm going to add a little bit of Solaris resin. Make sure it's all pulled back out of the way. Once I've built a little head there, I can put a half hitch in, bury my thread inside the head. Come in with my UV pen to cure it off. Then with my dubbing brush, I can just simply tease out the fibers that I've uh, put in in my head. And because I've used a dubbing loop here, what you get is a little bit of length on them guard hairs. And I like that. So this is the Retirer Sedge. Uh, many thanks to David Parker for the inspiration. Uh, it's probably not quite the same as David would tie it, but it's neat as damn it. I hope that's of some use to you. Uh, you won't regret tying up a few of these for your box. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. First method, if you want to make them up, that's how to do it.